up with one of my friends here, or two of my friends actually here in just a little bit. We're gonna go for a little walk and go to dinner and go to a movie and I'm really excited about it. I just talked about some sunglasses because I've been, oh, kinda wanna talk about that for actually quite some while. I've been I've been slacking a little bit um, on doing videos that I wanna do that are like on my to-do list. So anyways, check that out. This is the Mommy 1.0 since I'm actually wearing real clothes and my hair is done. I figured I would do a video, at least, at least one, so. All right, this is the Mommy 1.0 tag, or just the Mommy tag. I think that this is the right one. I just searched Mommy 1.0, found some questions, so I'm gonna read them. I have not read them yet. All right, are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? Oh, I am a stay-at-home working mom, so I work from home, and it is, I think it's the hardest, and I'm not discrediting any of the others because I've done them all. I've been just a stay-at-home mom, and I've been a work outside of the home mom, and now I have way too many jobs at home. And it's really hard because it's really hard to tell your kids, I'm working right now. And they're like, no, you're home. I'm like, yeah, I'm home, but I'm working. And it's it's hard for kids to understand because if I was, when I was at the office, I had that bright, I've talked about this before, but I had that, like, I was at work and that work time was respected from everybody. And I'm not just saying like, you know, it, it's from everybody. It's from everybody who, oh, oh, that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother video. I'll do it another time. Okay, answer that question. Number two, would you have it any other way? Uh, I guess not, because you're in control of that, I think. Like, at least I'm in a position where I'm in control of, of it and I could, just stop everything and go to work saying just being a stay-at-home mom and not having an income is not an option but you know I, I could at least stay at home and <laughs> work from home or I could go get a job I call it a real job like when you're outside and that's my own fault oh see this is just a next topic do you co-sleep we did I did I co-slept with both my babies um one must have gear for baby I would say a good wrap a really good wrap how many kids do you plan on having? I have two, and if my boyfriend and I get married, then I'll officially have seven. <laughs> so I am done with my two, no matter how you spin it. Um, date night, how many nights a month? We try to go on at least two date nights a month. Um, what's your child's favorite show? Oh. Star Wars anything and I know it's not a show it's a movie but they love Star Wars so much name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up using a crib and I didn't buy it my dad made it so talk about not just financial guilt but guilt guilt like to the max gauge um what's your child's favorite food so my babies aren't babies anymore um well, they're still babies if you ask me, but my youngest is five and my oldest is seven and a half. Camera died. Anyways, um, okay, so we were on my child's favorite food. I got my dishes done in the meantime. So Drake, I would say anything potatoes. He loves french fries, he loves chips, he loves uh, like breakfast potatoes. The kid loves potatoes and he's super vanilla. He's like the most vanilla kid ever. What do you want? Like literally vanilla, 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 vanilla. Ugh. I don't know where he came from. Not from me. Um, Deacon, on the other hand, I would say that his favorite, he has, he has my palate for sure. His favorite food, I would say is crab, which I don't know that that's necessarily my favorite food, but the kid can get down on crab, which is expensive. Deacon, what do you want for dinner tonight? Crab? I'm like, hmm, no. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Hot dog or corn dog. I'm like, oh, we can get behind those. Um, okay. Let's see here. Um, 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 how many cars does your family have? Well, it's just, uh, I have one. I have the GMC Acadia and then my boyfriend has a car too. Weight gain during pregnancy, during and after, and how? And now, oh. Um, okay, let's see. So I gained 50 pounds exactly with Deacon. After I had him, I left the hospital, because I think it's preeclampsia, um, five pounds heavier, six pounds, seven pounds? Mm, five, I think, I don't know. Anyways, heavier than before I had him, which was just wonderful. And then it took me 
I want to say 16 weeks, not really trying, but just 16 weeks and I was nursing, which thank you for nursing. Um, and then I got down to pre-pregnancy weight within 16 weeks. And then with Drake, I gained 33 pounds. And shortly after I had him, um, I mean, a totally different pregnancy, totally different pregnancy. I didn't swell. Like I was, I remember like seeing my, my birth pictures and I'm like leaned over. I had him at home, leaned over the birth pool and like, my wedding ring is still on. And I'm like, wow, I really didn't swell with him or get like gain as much weight or anything. With him, I lost it even faster. And then, oh, it scared me. And then I lost. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I lost another, <laughs> I would say 14, 15 pounds. And then since then, I've gained back. No, I guess I lost like almost, I don't know. I don't really remember. I, since then I've gained back like seven and it seems to just want to stay. But to be honest, I don't try that hard anymore to like keep, keep it. I, I try to maintain. I don't try to continue to lose and stay lost. My body's really happy kind of at the weight that it's at. Um, dream vacation with your kiddos. <laughs> Disneyland, Disney World, Disney anything, any amusement park. Yeah, I love that. Dream vacation without your kids? Oh, um, uh, that's hard. Uh, so anywhere, anywhere. I don't care. <laughs> anywhere. Um, how has your life changed since your baby's been born? Well, it's been night and day. That's just too long to answer. Um, I think number one, you sleep. Sleep and selflessness. Those are the two things. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see my boys get along. It does. Where do you shop for your kids? Um, I would say for like clothes, the number one places I shop, consignment sales like or thread up. I love that. Um, I do a lot of shopping for them at TJ Maxx. A lot. Most of my shopping for them is done at TJ Maxx. Because you can get Nike or Under Armour, like really good athletic pants for 10 bucks. So it's, you know, it's one of those places where it's like, I can get them exactly what they want to wear and save so much money. Um, favorite makeup and skincare products. I don't know. I don't know. I talked about this last one with fake eyelashes. They're amazing. Um, Huggies or Pampers. I have no clue. No clue. I... What did I use with Deacon? I don't even remember. Maybe Huggies, like six months. I think that, so before I had him, I stockpiled like coupons and I would buy packs of like the small pack of diapers for, and you have a $7 off coupon. It was amazing. So I stocked up on those and I had enough to last me the first six months of his life. Those diapers ran out and I switched to cloth and I cloth diapered Deacon until he was two and a half and then Drake for his entire life or his entire whatever. Have you always wanted kids? Yes, my doorbell just rang. Best part about being a mom, the love. So much love. All right, that's it. Um, my friends are here. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.